Hey guys, hope you're doing well. There's currently a huge shortage of workers in New Zealand for both skilled and unskilled job positions. To be more specific, there are currently 80,000 vacancies. As for the year 2024, the average salary in New Zealand per month is 8,200 New Zealand dollars or 97,300 per year, which is an amazing figure considering the cost of living is not really high, so you get to save a lot of what you earn. Along with New Zealand's prime minister's efforts to bring skilled talent to the country, the government in general has introduced a lot of dedicated websites and immigration programs to help foreign workers like you and me to find a job and move to New Zealand, including support for interviews, documentation, and relocation assistance as well. In this video, I'm going to elaborate on the huge shortage of workers in New Zealand, why this labor shortage has happened, what the New Zealand government is doing to tackle this labor shortage, and how you can take advantage of this opportunity from your home country along with two dedicated job portals that currently have listed vacancies for foreign workers, and how you can apply for your work visa as well. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free, and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let's directly start with why this labor shortage has happened in New Zealand. Unlike other immigrant countries, New Zealand and Australia's pandemic response included a strict border shutdown that halted immigration almost entirely, including all the PR programs. Since the borders were shut for more than 2 years, companies in both New Zealand and Australia lost a lot of migrant workers from both the skilled and unskilled sectors, which became the root cause of this labor shortage. This factor coupled with the uncertainty of when borders will open again prompted many migrant workers which were both skilled and unskilled to leave New Zealand. This exodus contributed significantly to the current labor shortage now estimated at 80,000 which could likely be much higher. Now what has the New Zealand government done to ease this labor shortage? The first thing they did was to ease immigration requirements and come up with two websites which are careers.government.nz and wellingtons.nz or escape to wellington which are dedicated websites to help the current skills shortage in new zealand and if you check on these sites for example the careers.government.nz you'll see that there are dedicated web pages that are listing jobs in skill shortage and labor shortage which are basically those occupations that have a lot of current vacancies in new zealand which can be filled by overseas employees like yourself You can check the jobs in the jobs database link here after which you can sort via your job industry and find a job that suits your profile. Now do note that all of these jobs are open to foreign workers as well and a step by step guide on finding these jobs and directly applying to them has also been explained in detail on the website. Moreover, you can filter by job industry and you'll be able to see the jobs listed along with their typical salary ranges as well which is quite rare for job websites. You also notice a green list mentioned here and it's mentioned that the green list makes it easier for New Zealand employers to attract migrants for skilled highly paid jobs. These occupations are usually in continuous shortage or continuous demand in New Zealand. It's typically easier to get a job offer from outside New Zealand for workers in these occupations due to the sheer demand of workers in these fields. You can check the latest list on this page which was updated last in September 2023. This list is constantly being updated based on New Zealand's job market. You'll even find a lot of categories below which are of long-term shortage lists. For example, if you click on IT here, you'll see a whole list of jobs that are in constant demand like business and data analysts, developers, IT architects and technicians, IT managers and so on. I would also recommend this section job vacancy and recruitment websites because of all the open positions that companies have only about just 40% are posted online so a majority of open positions are not accessible and the best way to get them is through reputed recruitment agencies now bear in mind that these recruitment agencies are listed on the official New Zealand government job websites and they are officially appointed by the government themselves so they are 100% genuine and you can approach them You don't have to pay these agencies any money as they earn their money from New Zealand employers after you're hired. All of their services to you as an employee would be completely free. There's a whole list of agencies listed for different parts of New Zealand. You can approach the ones based on which part of New Zealand you wish to move to. 
Most immigrants prefer to move to Auckland and Wellington due to the city life and more career advancement opportunities. So if we click on either one of them, as you can see, you'll see a whole list of credible genuine recruiters in each part of New Zealand that'll help you get a job offer completely free of cost. Now the second website, Escape to Wellington. This website currently lists more than 3,000 jobs and has all the information about living, working and settling in Wellington, which is the capital of New Zealand. When you click on Seek Job Listings, this will basically take you to the most popular job site in New Zealand, seek.co.nz, but your job search will be concentrated to Wellington. You can choose to enter your job title towards the top or simply scroll through the list below. Once you click on any listing, for example, the warehouse assistant job listing here, you see the location, which is Wellington Central, the company name, Book Express Limited, the salary offered, which is a decent $25 per hour. And if you scroll below, you'll see your job responsibilities, your skills and experience requirements, and the benefits that you'll get. Now do note that this is just one example. There are literally thousands of job vacancies listed like this. To apply for this position and others similar to this, you can click the quick apply button to the top and send over your CV and cover letter to these employers. Before applying to any job on any website though, be sure to edit your CV and cover letter to the New Zealand format. If you don't know how to edit your CV and cover letter to make them ATS friendly, you can reach out to us via email to get your personalized CV and cover letter which will of course be at a nominal cost. On the Escape to Wellington website, if you scroll below, you can sign up completely for free from anywhere in the world and you'll keep getting updates to know all about the city, about living there, job opportunities, cultural knowledge, job fairs, newsletters and a lot of other things that'll make it much easier for you to get a job offer in New Zealand. Coming to the general cost and processing time for a New Zealand work visa. The cost of a New Zealand work visa differs based on where you're applying from, but the average cost is around 750 New Zealand dollars. Do note that for many of these job positions, especially sponsored work visas, your New Zealand employer pays the cost of your work visa, so you don't have to worry about spending anything. The processing time for a New Zealand work visa is around 7 weeks or less. If you want to apply for a New Zealand work visa, or to know more about the types of work visas offered by New Zealand, you can watch the videos linked in the description box below. You can choose between the recovery work visa, accredited employer work visa, sponsored job visas, fruit picking and farm jobs, seasonal visas, etc. Alright guys, so those were the websites you can use to get your New Zealand work visa. For more migration and travel tips, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for new updates. Thanks for watching and all the best for your application.